Tsunamis are some of the most feared natural phenomena in the world, and there's a good reason why. These large waves of water can wash away and destroy just about anything in their path, including ships, cities, and people. It can also magnify the death and destruction of an already existing catastrophic situation. This is because the driving force behind tsunamis is usually another powerful and potentially destructive phenomenon, such as an earthquake or volcanic eruption. To make matters worse, there are mega tsunamis, which are huge waves that are created in a landslide involving large amounts of dirt and other materials falling into a body of water. While typical tsunamis have a wave height of up to 33 feet, mega tsunamis have significantly higher wave heights that can range from hundreds to even thousands of meters. We'll discuss 10 of the largest and strongest tsunamis of all time in this episode of the Infographics Show, The Biggest Tsunamis Ever. 10. 2011 Tohoku Tsunami On March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake occurred off the east coast of Japan. A Guardian article described it as the fourth most powerful in the history of seismology. The earthquake was so strong that it knocked the earth six and a half inches off its axis. So it's not surprising that the tsunami it created had enormous strength too, reaching a wave height of 131.2 feet. The tsunami killed 18,000 people and devastated coastal communities. Live Science describes how waves overtopped and destroyed protective tsunami seawalls at several locations and that the massive surge destroyed three-story buildings where people had gathered for safety. Another potentially disastrous effect of the tsunami is that it caused a cooling system failure at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, which resulted in a level 7 nuclear meltdown. Besides physical damage, the tsunami and earthquake caused great financial damage to Japan as well. The World Bank estimates that the total economic cost could reach up to $235 billion, making it the costliest natural disaster in world history. 9. 1883 Krakatoa Tsunamis The August 1883 volcanic eruption of Krakatoa in what is now Indonesia created a series of powerful tsunamis. NOAA's National Center for Environmental Information states that the largest wave was estimated at 135 feet high. When the tsunamis ended, not much was left on the islands near Krakatoa. Vegetation, homes, and people were washed away by the waves. NOAA estimates that of the 36,000 people who died, 34,000 of them lost their lives due to tsunamis. 8. 1946 Aleutian Island Tsunami This tsunami was caused by an 8.6 magnitude earthquake that occurred near Unimac Island, one of Alaska's Aleutian Islands. NOAA states that the waves reached as high as 42 meters, or about 138 feet. The tsunami wiped out a lighthouse on Unimac Island and killed its five occupants, but there were more casualties. Oddly enough, the tsunami caused more destruction outside of Alaska than in it. Hawaii was the hardest hit. A live science article describes how the Gila waterfront was destroyed and surges as tall as two and three-story buildings pounded several coastal villages. The tsunami killed 159 people in Hawaii and caused $26 million in damage in 1946 dollars. 7. 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami The 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami earned a spot on our list because of its tragic trinity of high power, high wave height, and high destruction. The tsunami was caused by the massive Sumatra Andaman earthquake, which ranged in magnitude between 9.1 and 9.3. National Geographic estimates that the earthquake released the energy of 23,000 Hiroshima-type atomic bombs, and this energy created powerful waves. According to Australian Geographic, the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami attained a wave height of almost 164 feet. It decimated coastal areas and was one of the deadliest natural events on record. This tsunami killed about 230,000 people, and Australian Geographic states that it caused an estimated $10 billion in damage. 6. 1771 Great Yayama Tsunami According to NOAA's National Center for Environmental Information, an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.4 shook the Ryukyu Islands in Japan on April 24, 1771. The earthquake did less damage than the tsunami it produced. One source estimates that the wave height of the tsunami at one of the Ryukyu Islands, Ishigaki, ranged between 131.2 to 162.5 feet high and that the number of dead and missing was 12,000 people. 5. 1792 Mount Unzen Tsunami Mount Unzen is a group of stratovolcanoes located in southern Japan. On May 21, 1792, the collapse of one of Mount Unzen's lava domes caused a landslide that covered the city of Shimabara before crashing into the Ariaka Sea. 
According to popular science, the 1792 collapse caused 300-foot-high waves. The USGS states that this tsunami traveled along the adjacent shorelines of Shimabara Peninsula and 17 to 23 kilometers across the Ariaka Sea in neighboring provinces. The USGS calls the 1792 Mount Unzen landslide and tsunami Japan's worst historical volcanic disaster. A total of 15,000 people died, but one source estimates that 10,000 out of the 15,000 deaths were due to the tsunami. Australian Geographic states that the cost of damages to agriculture and fish facilities were estimated at 17.4 billion yen, roughly $150 million. 4. 2017 Greenland Mega Tsunami On June 17, 2017, part of the Karat Fjord in Greenland gave away, causing a large landslide that cascaded into the ocean. The science journal Nature reports that rocks and other material fell into the water with such force that they generated a seismic signal suggestive of a magnitude 4.1 earthquake and a mega tsunami with a wave height of 328.1 feet. A Daily Mail article states that the waves of this mega tsunami far surpassed the height of those caused by the 2011 tsunami in Japan, and they even sent huge icebergs hurtling ashore. Nature adds that the mega tsunami was strong enough to inundate the small fishing village of Nugatsiak, which is located on an island within the fjord about 20 kilometers away. 11 houses were lost and 4 people were presumed dead, while it did not cause a lot of death and destruction. Nature calls the 2017 Greenland mega tsunami one of the tallest tsunamis in recorded history. 3. Pico de Fogo Mega Tsunami Approximately 73,000 years ago, Pico de Fogo, a 9,300-foot volcano on one of the Cape Verde Islands, erupted with such force that part of it collapsed and crashed into the sea. A BBC article reports that the impact of the falling debris created a 240-meter tsunami wave that engulfed Santiago Island 34 miles away. It's highly unlikely human lives were lost in this mega tsunami because the Cape Verde Islands were uninhabited until the mid-1400s. Because no human records are available, scientists reconstructed the effects of the Pico de Fogo mega tsunami on Santiago Island based on geologic evidence. Some of this evidence indicates that it inundated the island up to 900 feet above sea level. According to a popular science article, scientist Ricardo Romalo and his research team were able to confirm through fieldwork and rock dating techniques that huge boulders found on Santiago Island were transported by the tsunami. This was no small feat because these boulders weighed up to 770 tons, according to a Guardian article. Romalo also speculated that it's highly probable that any or at least most of the flora and fauna within this zone were completely wiped out. 2. 1980 Spirit Lake Mega Tsunami When Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980, a collapse of the upper top of the mountain caused a huge landslide that sent rocks and debris tumbling into nearby Spirit Lake. The landslide displaced the water in the lake, creating a mega tsunami that was 820 feet high. One source states that this wave height was over six times the height of the devastating tsunami unleashed by the Krakatoa eruption in 1883. The damage caused by the mega tsunami was limited to the area close to Spirit Lake. The mega tsunami took out nearby trees and debris and deposited them into the lake. Three people, two amateur volcanologists and a lodge owner, were known to be near Spirit Lake when Mount St. Helens erupted. Most sources presumed they were killed by the landslide and not the mega tsunami. However, what happened to them will probably never be fully known because their bodies were never recovered. 1. 1958 Lutuya Bay Mega Tsunami On June 17, 1958, a magnitude 7.8 earthquake triggered seismic activity along the Fairweather Fault in Alaska. The earthquake caused a landslide. Rocks, dirt, and other materials from slopes near the fault tumbled into a nearby body of water called Latuya Bay, resulting in a mega tsunami. Geologist Don Miller did an aerial inspection of the damage. According to the Alaska Earthquake Center, Miller searched for the trim line, which is the water line that marks the highest point that the tsunami reached, and found it to be 1,720 feet. Below the trim line, the destruction was described as absolute. Miller saw that trees and earth had been stripped away to clean bedrock. However, the loss of human life and property was minimal due to the fact that the mega tsunami swept through a remote area. Five people died and a nearby lighthouse cabin and mountaineers campsite were swept away without a trace. A Smithsonian article calls the 1958 Latuya Bay mega tsunami the tallest tsunami ever documented. What other tsunamis do you think should be on this list? Let us know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our other video called The Biggest Earthquakes Ever.
Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.